Hi everyone and happy Thanksgiving. This is Jamie Marich of this page, Trauma Recovery Books with Dr. Jamie Marich. Uh, many of you know me from online only and some of you know me from other interactions. So it is 9.30, approaching 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, which is when I said I would do this live meditation for those of you wanting to join me in real time. But I will of course repost it afterwards. So this is a meditation that I shared this evening. I take part in a recovery sangha, a recovery group here that is focused on meditation on Thursday nights. And fortunately, we still had our regular meeting, our regular group meditation tonight. Uh, I personally love going to recovery meetings on Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays to take in a meeting. And this is a group that I take part in that is not necessarily 12 step, but a lot of us who go there are 12 steppers and my sponsor Daryl who is also a yogi and a yoga teacher and I often co-facilitate meditations and tonight we had the inspiration to facilitate a gratitude based meditation that I wanted to honor the idea that for many of us in recovery we're told gratitude 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 yet it can be a challenge for a lot of us to practice gratitude and I really do want to honor that challenge while still challenging uh, the practice of gratitude here which could be so so incredibly helpful for those of us who are on a recovery path of any kind so this meditation I'll be sharing with you is actually a version my adaptation if you will of the loving kindness meditation that so many of us know who practice mindfulness the loving kindness verses that we share first with ourselves and then to people in various circles uh, spanning out to the global outreach. And so I kind of went with spirit tonight and developed a gratitude version of the loving kindness idea of meditation. And I'll be starting it here in a moment for those of you who may wish to join me here in real time. And I will of course repost the meditation. So if you are so inspired to meditate this at any point later tonight while it's still Thanksgiving in the US or at any other time, you're welcome to join me in this gratitude meditation. So I'll ask you to begin, like any meditation practice I facilitate, by getting yourself in a position of seated awareness. And by seated awareness, I mean not sitting so uncomfortably that it's a pain, nor should you be slouching or putting your head down, but really try to come into a position that you could hold comfortably here for about five to 10 minutes. And if you need to shift or move, especially because of a physical pain issue, please do that. Um, so I just like to offer that challenge of awareness. All meditation can be done with eyes closed or open. Uh, you want to take the version, whether it's eyes closed or open, that will help you get into that meditative container, but will also help you feel safe enough to go there. So if that is eyes open, please by all means do eyes open. And I'll be giving a couple prompts throughout this meditation for the breath. And I just want to remind you to keep the breath flowing. If at any time this is feeling a little too much for you today, a little more than you had thought going in, you could simply stop the video um, or look around the room and really get a nice sense of visual grounding, even saying to yourself three or four things that you see. Okay, so I'll begin our practice by ringing the bowl. And as you hear the sound coming from the bowl, you may use this as a meditative transition container to enter into the practice. And then we'll see where we go. So I'd like you to begin by taking a breath, intentionally deepening the breath. Draw into your heart center, whether that be your physical heart 
or some unexplained spirit place that you feel is heart for you. Once you've drawn into heart center, I'll invite you to take a few breaths. It helps you to use a hand gesture like the interlaced fingers or prayer at your physical heart center to keep you in tune there. You may do that or you can keep your hands in any of your favorite meditation postures. So as you draw into heart center, I will first ask you to bring up something in your own recovery or wellness life that you are grateful for, something personal something that you have either given yourself recently in your recovery, something intangible, maybe like my sense of tenacity or my sense of determination. What is something personal tonight, today, if you're listening to this later, that you are grateful for? And if you're struggling to come up with something, maybe your gratitude is simply that you're literally here in this space, giving this a try. That may be it and that's fine. So sense into that gratitude and seal it with a breath. So now I will invite you to bring into your awareness someone with whom you are close, a loving, affectionate connection. Maybe it's a partner, a family member, a friend, someone in your support network. Just don't overthink it. Notice who's coming up first. And as you draw into your awareness, that individual Maybe visualize offering gratitude like a stream of light or a stream of color or energy pouring, streaming out from your heart and connecting to theirs. And as you sense into your gratitude for them and that connection, take a breath. Next, I'd like you to call to mind, bring into your awareness someone with whom you have a neutral connection. If you're a 12-step meeting attender, maybe it's somebody you see at meetings but don't really know, or somebody at work you don't really know, yet they're definitely part of something you consider special. Maybe it's the person who waits on you at your favorite restaurant or at your bank or the store. Just someone where there's a neutral connection Maybe someone you've never consciously thought of extending gratitude towards. And now may be an excellent time for that. So same thing, sensing into your heart, your sense of gratitude. And maybe imagine that gratitude now flowing like a stream of light from your heart to theirs.
once you've really sensed into it. Take a breath. So now I invite you to draw into your awareness someone with whom there's a challenging connection right now. Maybe there's someone you resent, someone where there's just real difficulty there. And this one may be particularly challenging. And if you find that you can't quite extend your gratitude to that person or to something about the situation that they're a part of that and maybe there's a learning experience there that you're becoming grateful for if that any of that feels like it's too much you could just sense into the challenge take a breath and as we extend gratitude maybe the best you can do tonight is to offer a prayer for that person um, to maybe make an attention an intention to at least begin to consider letting that resentment go. So you can modify this really as much as you need, but you may be surprised what happens when you can extend gratitude even to that person who challenges you. So when you're ready, taking a breath, and extending your gratitude, maybe imagining the stream flowing from your heart to theirs. Noticing what you notice. Really sensing in. And then maybe sealing it with a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now I invite you to think about extending your gratitude out. But instead of one stream of light, maybe thinking of many streams of light now coming from that stream. And maybe start by considering your immediate area, your city, your town, your province, the region of your state that you live in. And begin to offer your gratitude now out to the various people, places, things, beings in this sphere in which you live your day-to-day -day life. If you wanna call out things, people, places, being specifically that you're grateful for, you can. Just visualize it coming out like streams. And again, if that is challenging, maybe take a breath in and honor the challenge. If you're challenged in offering gratitude, Maybe you can think of this idea of at least offering gratitude for your breath, your life force. And taking our reach out even further now, the challenge is to offer your gratitude out even further, maybe to people, places, beings you wish to extend gratitude towards in other parts of the country, maybe around the world. You can extend your gratitude to people you know, to people you don't directly know but whose work has influenced you. Notice the gratitude pouring from your heart like a stream and connecting 
streaming, flowing to the world, to the universe entire. Take a few moments for this when you sense into the stream, the various streams of it. Take a breath. I know I'm grateful for my kitty cat, Misty, who you may be hearing in this meditation. She's outside the door meowing. Take some breaths. And finally now, let that light circle back to you. Sense in and maybe notice if you're feeling this connecting light coming back to you from the various corners to which you extended it. And sense back into that initial gratitude you offered for something about yourself, for your recovery for which you have thanks. And take a moment here once again with breath. <sighs> Just sensing into the beautiful flowing circle of it all. And as you do that, if there are any other gratitudes you wanna offer verbally or to yourself, Let that happen. Continuing to let the breath flow. And as we transition here to our conclusion, if your eyes have been locked closed for any period of time, really allow yourself to honor this transition by blinking them open and adjusting back to the light wherever you're at. As I suggested when we began, if you need to say out loud three things to yourself that you see in the space you're at, that's also a nice grounding technique coming back from any type of meditation. And maybe you want to wiggle around a little bit, particularly if you've been sitting a long time. So I want to thank you for joining me at whatever point you may have listened to and taken part in this meditation for gratitude. Uh, don't just have to do it on Thanksgiving. It's the nice thing about it. I know tonight for me is Thanksgiving 2017. And... May every day be a day where you can sense into that stream of gratitude and offering it. I had an early recovery sponsor who was big on the notion of gratitude, almost to the point of annoyance for me. Whenever there was anything bothering me in life to really keep me out of self-pity, she would validate that it was bothering me, but then challenge me to make some kind of gratitude list, either gratitude for that individual that was challenging me or gratitude for things about the situation that I was being challenged to learn. And it's hard. Uh, it's a very hard practice. Yet I know for me, sensing into gratitude daily has been a way that I have stayed more in the survivor thriver mindset, um, even as I've done a lot of work. And it's worth a try. It's definitely worth a try even if it feels like gratitude and gratitude practice may be a bit much right now. Keep at it. So I thank all of you for joining me and I would say happy Thanksgiving, but let's just say happy gratitude because it's not just for one holiday that we can offer thanks. Take care everyone.